yeah hello guys uh this is andrew again welcome to this uh our first tutorial that has to do actually starting with php so um in our last tutorial so we were seeing how to set up our development environment and i hope it was that clear some people actually got to me having issues and i think we tried solving most of those issues so in this tutorial, we're actually going to get a deep dive into uh, PHP and we're going to start with PHP syntax. We're going to see how to comment in PHP, uh, variables in PHP, data types, constants and operations. And before the end of this course, you were expected to come up with some know-how somehow. So by the end of this course, you should know what PHP is all about, uh, know the basic syntax of PHP. You should also know how to comment in PHP. You should uh, also know how to define variables. You should know what variables are. You should know how to declare variables and constants and how to use them in PHP. So uh, with this, I think we can get started with PHP. And we are going to start with what PHP is all about. What exactly is PHP? PHP is an acronym, PHP, which means Hypertext Preprocessor, and it is a widely used open source language. PHP is executed on the server, and uh, that means it's actually a language of the server. In other words, PHP is an open source scripting language that uh, is executed on the server. You can use PHP to uh, create files on servers, to start files on servers, to read files on servers, to stop files on servers. It is more of a server-side scripting language. What exactly can PHP do? Um, PHP can be used to generate dynamic web content. When I say dynamic web content, instead of you having to code uh, a certain 1000 lines of code on the front end. If you have some data in the database, you can actually use PHP to query this data and display it on your front end with just about, uh, um, let's just say 10 lines of code and it's able to generate a full page. So PHP, you can use it to generate dynamic web content. When we reach at this level, you actually see how it is used. PHP can be used to perform crude operations on files, on servers. That means, you, like I said before, you can use it to actually create uh, files on servers, read files on servers, update and delete. Now, this is somehow a little bit different from the crude operations that we talk about when it comes to database. PHP tool can be used to collect and interpret form data. Like we said before, um, Forms are a, they are an integral part of um, the web. And if you can be able to interpret forms, then you are one of the web users. So PHP is one of the language that is powerful enough to handle form data. You can send messages, you can uh, send uh, maybe contact and so on. Those are all uses of PHP. PHP can be used to communicate with the database. Now I'll talk about the crude operations that most of you already know about. To create, read, update, and delete data from the database. Last but not the least, and very most powerful use of PHP is that PHP can be used for, inter uh, for encryption. Now, in the web today, we have to make sure that our data is secure. That means we have to look for a way to secure this data. In case a, a malicious hacker or whoever had access to that data, we want to make it very difficult to even understand what is there. One of the ways we can do that is by encrypting the data. And PHP offers a, a, a host of algorithms that you can use to um, encrypt data before maybe sending or storing in the database. Those are the uses of PHP. There are a bunch of other uses out there. And I think we can end here for, uh, for now. You can go ahead and do some researches 
and see uh, other uses of PHP. Next, we are going to dive into the PHP syntax. And uh, I hope you have your machines with you, you have your environment set up so that as we start, since we are going to be doing a lot of hands-on, you are not going to face any issue.